All right. Happy spring, everybody. Uh, I just got to enjoy a great weekend with my family. Um, the sun was shining. It was about 70 degrees. And spring has definitely sprung. And with that, also allergies have uh, started. I, I didn't really realize it, but I had probably about 30 or 40 people complain this week. Um, you know, they came in sniffling and they got the runny nose and the itchy eyes and everything. And they are kind of asking me, well, what do we do for uh, preventing this or, or helping this other than taking medication? And that's a great question. It's a huge topic too. So uh, in fact, some of you may know, but a lot of you may not know that the reason why I originally got into chiropractic was because um, it actually helped my allergies. I had injured my neck playing basketball in ninth grade and I started seeing a chiropractor after that and after going regularly for quite some time. I uh, noticed one time the fall came around and my allergies were gone, which was a huge deal for me because, you know, I used to take Allegra and Claritin and Nasonex and, you know, every single fall it was just brutal. It really affected my quality of life and, you know, I would, you know, the medications caused me to be drowsy and tired all the time and just really not feel well and it really stunk because I love to play sports and, you know, be able to spend time with my friends. So when my allergies were gone one fall, I went to my chiropractor and I said, you know, did you have anything to do with this? And he said, well, actually, um, you know, I didn't do anything directly, but as you got adjusted, your body started to function and heal the way that it should. So allergies shouldn't happen then. And I was blown away and I said, sign me up. And I really didn't understand it totally at that point. I thought chiropractic care was good for, for neck pain and allergies. And I said, well, that's good enough to help millions and millions of people with that. So I went off to chiropractic school, you know, just for that. So I am truly passionate, though, about helping people you know, deal with their allergies and help really hopefully reverse them naturally because I suffered with them for many, 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 many years. So um, I didn't realize this too, but after moving to the Carolinas, um, and a lot of you know this, that North and South Carolina are actually two of the worst states when it comes for allergies just due to the number of pollen, uh, you know, from trees and weeds and grass and all those things. And really the most important thing is to understand um, how allergies happen in the first place. So um, really the main thing is is that allergies, any, any allergy to anything, whether it's peanuts or dogs or, or ragweed or tree or grass pollen, whatever the case may be, is actually an improper immune reaction um, to, due to something that's naturally. And you have to think about this, is that why um, would somebody be breathing in pollen and they would have a severe reaction to it and this person next to them would have no reaction? It's your body having a bad reaction to a natural thing. So what happens is, is that your immune system recognizes that pollen, um, also known as an allergen, as an invader and has a, what's called a hypersensitive immune reaction to it. And specifically, it's an anti-inflammatory reaction, which is why your nasal passages will swell or you'll get a mucus formation or you'll sneeze a lot because your body thinks that it's breathing in something that's harmful even though really tree pollen or grass pollen or any type of allergen in and of itself um, like that is not. So, you know, understanding the true cause of why these things are happening is very important because then you can understand that taking a medication um, for it, whether it's an antihistamine or a steroid or, uh, you know, a nasal spray or whatever, is only treating the symptom and it's not dealing with the cause of the problems. And why that's such a big deal is that these medications um, their known side effects is that it causes things like a lower, lower libido, um, antihistamines specifically cause you to eat more, it increases your appetite. They've been shown to cause anxiety um, and depression and making you eas more easily prone to stress. And actually long-term use shows that it causes cognitive impairment, meaning that it makes your ability to re have mem normal memory and recall things um, diminish. So, you know, that among many things is a major reason why you need to seek alternative options other than taking those medications. But the other thing is just like any medication is that they only treat the symptoms and they never correct the cause. And so you'll always have to take those medications for the rest of your life if you don't deal with the cause of those problems. And also talking about that, we specifically talk about allergy shots too and why I don't, I'm not a fan of those at all. Along with the medications, what they do is they're, they're literally depressing and shutting down your immune system so it doesn't have that reaction. And if you think about that, why that's such a big danger is that if you're shutting down your immune system, yeah, you may be able to 
shut down the reaction that you have to the allergens, but if it's also going to make you more susceptible to other invaders like bacteria and viruses or may, maybe even make um, cancer growth in your body more prolific or, or easier to happen. So you got to avoid these medications at all costs. I'll give you some natural solutions here. Number one is you get adjusted. And I know I'm mainly speaking to my patients here, but this time of the year more than ever is the time of the year where you do not miss your appointments. Studies have shown that every single adjustment you get improves your immune system. It increases your B lymphocytes, and improves your interleukin-2 uh, cells, it improves your lymphocytes, and improves your, um, your uh, natural cancer-killing cells. Every single time you get adjusted, it helps your sinus passages be clear, and it also helps your immune system. So that is number one. And knowing that if you're having allergies, it means your immune system is not up to snuff yet, and so um, we need to keep working on that. Now, one thing I can recommend too, which is, which is very handy, is um, downloading also the Weather Channel app. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. It looks like this. See the Weather Channel app? All right. And what's great about it is that it pulls up the local weather and um, I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom and you can see here is that it shows the pollen index. So you can see that tree was high for today, the grass was none, and then the weeds also were none. But you can get an idea before you get out of bed how it's going to be. And it's just helpful to know if you're feeling some type of sinus drainage or itchy eyes rather than thinking you have a cold and starting to take medications for that know that it's just your body's reaction to um, the pollen so here's some other natural things you can do and the key is is that even if you haven't started experiencing the symptoms now and you know that you're sometimes susceptible to, to, to them in years past do this before your body um, you know gets hit hard so number one is drinking water and you know again mild dehydration even that studies have shown is that it can make your histamine response, so again, the itchy eyes, the watery um, eyes, the runny nose, all those things actually be worse, all right? Now, if you get sinus congestion, um, you know, one of the things that can work really well are is a neti pot, okay? If you're not familiar with what those are, it's basically like, looks like a little teapot, but it's for your nose, and you literally dump um, basically salt water into your nasal passages and what it does is that, that it, it just basically hydrates them and helps you flush out um, excess mucus. So, you know, you just use it, uh, you know, as, as needed and it does actually help kind of get rid of that major congestion. Um, also, there's some good essential oils that can be used like peppermint oil, uh, good for clearing the nasal passages. Um, and I know there's some other ones as well and you can Google them, but peppermint's the main one that I use um, for that. Another thing too is that actually not only showering to start your day, but showering before bed is a good thing to do to help get a good night's sleep. And what it can do is, you know, to wash off any of the pollen um, that may be in your hair, or on your, on your, you know, in your nasal passages or on your skin at all, and just kind of help you be clean to hopefully get as good a night um, sleep as possible. Now, as far as supplements go, um, here are there's four major ones that you want to use. Number one is omega threes. And you should be using between two to 6,000 milligrams of that per day or two to six grams of that per day. Um, I use Optimal Omega. Um, you know, we sell in our office. And I use, uh, I do like two to three to four capsules of that per day. The Omega-3s um, are good for, as an anti-inflammatory, so it blocks the inflammatory um, immune response or allergy response that you might be having. Also, probiotics. I would say about 10 billion CFUs per day, CFUs, that's how you measure uh, probiotics is in CFUs, CFUs, I have a hard time saying that, 10 billion a day, um, the healthier your gut and your digestive system is, um, since 80% of your immune system controls your gut, it's good to be fortifying and strength strengthening that. Again, other good foods would be kombucha, um, tea, um, sauerkraut, or any type of other fermented food like kefir, all right? Um, magnesium is also another great one. Um, again, being deficient in magnesium, which I've read um, that about 90% of Americans are what the experts say are deficient in magnesium will also worsen your histamine response. Magnesium is also very good for relaxation and sleep. Um, you know, if you have restless legs or kind of pain in your, in your, in your vascular system, um, magnesium is great for that. 200 milligrams a day minimum for that. 
But number one, by far, is going to be vitamin C. Vitamin C is nature's antihistamine. Um, really, during this time of the year, I take two to 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day just as a maintenance dose. Um, it's also good for keeping the immune system strong, even though we're out of the quote-unquote flu season now. Um, really, I just keep doing it year-round because vitamin C helps protect against cancer. It's necessary for your collagen, which is what your skin is made out of. Your ligaments, your tendons are all made out of vitamin C, so we want to keep that um, in well supply inside of your body. But if you're having really, really, really bad allergies right now, um, here's what you do and here's what the protocol is for vitamin C therapy. You're, what you're going to do is you're going to do 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C every single hour. So with our vitamin C, that's one scoop. Um, it's a little tiny scoop and you're doing one scoop of that. So 2,000 milligrams every single hour until you get to what's called bowel tolerance. And what bowel tolerance is, is, well, there's no way, nice way to say, but basically you get um, gas or a little bit of diarrhea or definitely a softened stool. It's called bowel tolerance. And what that means is that your body has enough um, vitamin C inside of it, okay, because it's a water-soluble vitamin. So let's say it takes 10 scoops for you to get there. So after 10 hours, you've had 20,000 milligrams of vitamin C. You, you get a little bit of diarrhea with your next bowel movement. Then you know that um, a little bit less than 20,000 milligrams would be your dose. So I would say 18,000. So the next day, you would do 18,000 um, scoops or 18,000 milligrams of vitamin C. So nine scoops of vitamin C. And um, to keep your body at saturate, saturation, you'll see your, that your symptoms are way less. And you just keep doing that one scoop every two hours until you get diarrhea and you keep lessening and lessening and lessening until you get down to a dose that, you know, be regular. And again, I do a 4,000 milligram maintenance dose every single day. So if you have any questions about that, you can email me at info at drgregbarnes.com, info at drgregbarnes.com, or you can see me in the office for, for that if you just have any, need any clarifications. The key is, is that you use a high quality vitamin C. Um, you know, if you're just going to go buy something from GNC or even from Whole Foods, I wouldn't recommend necessarily taking that much vitamin C because if you're not 100% sure that it's a whole food source, um, you know, I would just be hating that you're putting synthetic junk and garbage inside of your body. But we have a great one, a uh, great um, whole food vitamin C available in the office for you, and it's perfectly measured out for 2,000 milligrams. So I hope everybody has a great day. I also want to make a reminder that coming up next Monday, the 23rd at 7 o'clock, we're doing our dinner uh, with a doc experience. We're going to be doing it at our office. I'm actually going to be catering the food from Zoe's Kitchen. Um, you'll get a nice lettuce, um, salad meal. You're going to get either a chicken or steak kebabs um, with that. It's going to be a great meal. I'm going to be doing an hour talk, so I'm going to be doing an abbreviated version of what our event with Dr. Hardick was last Saturday. So if you missed that or you have friends that you want to expose to maximize living and how it can help them with their health, this is the perfect event to do this. The cost is free. You just need to sign up at the front desk or email us and uh, we'll put you down along with your guest name. So again, that'd be for you and any number of guests or family members that you want to bring that are not patients. I'll pay for the food. We'll do a great talk on nutrition and chiropractic and how Maximize if it can help them and start transforming their lives. And also, I'm very excited to announce that we'll be doing a dinner in Wilson at the Olive Garden on Sunday, March 29th at, I'm pulling on my calendar here, I just want to confirm the time, at 6 o'clock at the Olive Garden in Wilson. So if you have friends or family in Wilson, um, or you're a patient there yourself and you want to bring some people out to that, um, we'd love to have you. Again, you just have to call the office at 919-790-8054 to reserve your spots for that. I hope everybody has an amazing week, and uh, keep working hard and transforming your life and you know living the five essentials. Bless you all. Bye.